kind of crappy around here and I haven't been out for a couple days. So I think even though if you look around, it still looks kind of crappy down out over the beach. It's still kind of cloudy. Last time I was down there, I got wet, but I don't care. I'm going to go again, go down today. Um, see what I can do. I'm just bored sitting in here, listening to it rain. And the tide is supposed to be, well, this morning it was at a six and a half, and it's supposed to be a negative 1.1. So that's a, over a seven, seven and a half foot swing. So that should be pretty good. Um, don't know how much sand will move around. Hopefully it moves around quite a bit. So we're going to go down and give it a try. So we'll see you uh, in a little while when I get down. Hell, I got to go. We got to go. Ah. Good morning, everybody. I'm down at the beach now. As you can see, the tide came up pretty high. Made a pretty good cut. That was a six and a half foot tide. Plus, if you look at the ocean, it's kind of angry. So I imagine that pushed it even further. So we had a water coming all the way into the parking lot again. There's foam all the way at the trees back there. So. Uh, I got a couple hours, hour and two and a half hours to low tide, which is a negative 1.1. So I'll fiddle around on this stuff right here and see what I can do and show you what I find. All right. Well, this is the second target. First target was a penny. I see this one and I don't know what it is. It's just a shiny chunk of, chunk of junk, kind of the right color, don't know what it is though. Now we'll have to check it out later. Shit, that looks like gold and it's heavy as hell, but it's kind of corroded so, oh well. But I got a penny and that lump of coal. I think I dug another piece to that whatever it was I just dug. Kind of the same look. Maybe a 10 carat ring or something, but it's all crusty, so I don't know. We'll have to check it out when I get home. Well, first quarter. Cool. Out here, kind of halfway in the damp. We'll stick along this path and see what I find. All right, on to the next. Yep. See it right there. That's a penny. Oh well. There's an eyeball find. A mess that I gotta pick up because it'll end up in somebody's foot. All these fishing hooks in it, all these little feathers. Anyway, I'll cut it all loose and throw away the other part and keep the sinker. And we can't forget about Keithy. There you go, Keithy. Kind of busted up, but there's one for you. such small little pieces. Well, these PIs, they're pretty good at finding small stuff. So, 
I don't know if you noticed, I have two different machines. I have this machine and I have a dual field. The dual field coil I don't like to use out in the water because it's like dragging a boat anchor around. It's lighter than this one for up in the dry, but this coil right here goes through the water nice and easy. And the way I set it is, both of my machines I have set the same way. If you look, I have the gain set just below and I have the tuner set way up, which is the your threshold. I don't know, can you see that? But I have it cranked up a little bit more so it kind of smooths out the sound. I don't know if you can hear that. I run it that way so the sound, so the tone smooths out and I can hear those small little breaks in the threshold that sometimes don't give you an audio tone. And that's the way I run this thing. I like the chatter, not so much chatter, but I like the threshold sound. And when you hear just the smallest little break, you know, sometimes it'll give you a beep and you can hear the beep sometimes. I don't know if you can hear that. That's a loud one. But uh, sometimes it's just a small little break in the threshold. And uh, I like to be able to hear that small, soft little tone or change in the threshold. Another penny. But uh, that's the way I run these. And anytime I'm getting out in the water, I'll take this one because it goes through the water a lot better. But uh, hope that helps. Well, sand is starting to move around and go out because these things, they were about this high out of the sand not too long ago. So we've lost three or four feet of sand. And if you look up there, the pillars that hold back that sand wall right there, just to the left of the pier, have finally made a showing, which they haven't been out for, they've been just buried for the past year. So we're finally getting some sand to be drug off this beach, which is kind of a good thing. But uh, yeah, these things haven't been showing in a long time. These up here were completely gone. So we're doing all right with the movement of sand, finally. See these right here? These were underneath the sand for, they were just buried. You couldn't even see this. So we're finally getting some movement. I like it. Keep on going. Quarter. I'll take it. No, I just got this little earring. What's left of a cross. Pretty well eaten up. Oh well. First target I've had it's been something other than trash in 30 minutes. Hey, check that out. Hey, Kurt, I got a data. I got a data. <laughs> That's a little shout out to my buddy Kurt of oh, the Hoover Boys. I got a data. All right. That sure beats digging up a hundred pennies. Oop. And I lost it. Ah, cool. Looks like a suck Joe mama. Yep. Cool. I got a quarter of that hole. That rat hole. And there's another target right here. So we'll see. See it already, I think. Yep. And a dime. Cool. Uh, I kind of moved up here into this soft stuff. Kind of mushy right here and up there. 
but it's all the stuff that's been drugged down up there and I'm finding a lot of these old green quarters and change. So maybe I'll work along here for now. I ain't finding much out in the water, except a lot of bobby pins. So we'll see what happens. All right. Here's the kind of dangerous shit we find out here. I think this is a piece of a thermometer. Look at the end of that thing. Would you like to get that in your foot? I don't know. People are just pigs. In that hole, another quarter. And look, Tony, it's all green. It's all green for you. And one of them space quarters. I just found this penny that's about, uh, I don't know, is that considered a fatty? I don't think so. It's got so much stuff built up and stuck to it, it's about an inch thick. Anyway, you can see it's a penny. But all this other stuff is just glued to it. Oh well. It's a West Coast fatty. I finally found something. A woohoo, a big earring. Great, huh? That or it's a small trailer hitch. Well, I just dug another one of the hopeless diamonds. bling crap and then my battery went dead so I had to change it so we're good to go for a while not that I'm gonna hang out much longer it's been pretty uh, bleak uh, sure is a lot of people who wear these big ass blingy freaking thingies the size of that thing. Another one of them dumb shitting things. Oh well. Seems like it's the only thing I can find. I swear to God, it's supposed to be low tide, a negative 1.1, and it really hasn't moved much from where it was. Out there getting pounded around and I found this little piece of bling. I don't know what it is. I don't know. More crap. Shiny crap. But anyway. Well, it's been pretty bleak out here. Uh, it's been a while since I even had a good target. And this one doesn't sound all that great. And it's not. Uh, some little piece of wire. But I think I'm done. I'm headed back to the car. If I find anything cool between here and there, I'll let you know. If not, see you at the wrap up. Well, hello everybody. Um, day after I went out yesterday and uh, this is a wrap up from yesterday wasn't all that productive you know a lot of different stuff I got a car that's been out there forever I think it's pretty shot big clump I got fish hooks fish lures the crank off of a fishing hand reel gray matter different sizes um, chunk of something that's shiny inside but I haven't broken it open yet the nozzle air filler for a inner tube or a bike now that'd be for like a ball or something one green piece of glass the Keithy special a piece of a thermometer of all things and the end of this thing is like a needle it's ridiculous but uh, I got this I thought it was a Susan B. Anthony. It's a George Washington. 
How you like that, Kurt? I got a dollar. <laughs> and it's the same as yours, a George Washington. About a buck and a half and quarters. Five dimes, one nickel. Some pennies. And this penny, I tried to pop it because it had this thing growing on the back of it. And all it did was break. Which, if you look at this thing, and you look at the coins, you know, future detectors aren't going to have much in the way of U.S. coins to detect. The way that they make stuff nowadays are so crappy. They're going to be decayed before future detectors if they don't start making some better coins. Because the new shit that they make is terrible. This is a new coin, and it's started to rot already on the edges. But, uh... I don't know. I ended up with a another little earring. It's junk. And then two more big blingers. Find a bunch of these things. This one, the stone actually fell out of it. And I just stuck it back in there. Cap off of something that I thought was a gold tooth or something. But it's... Not gold, I don't think. I didn't test it. It looks funny. This belly ring. Another trailer hitch ring. But, uh... That was all I ended up with. It's not a whole lot. Um... Yeah. As much sand that got moved out because the... I think I showed a picture of it. The pillars of the pier, a lot more of the base of them are showing now. Which means sand's moving out. But, uh, you know, we, I didn't find any, uh, well, you know, this, this stuff was old. It had all been down there for a while, but in a lot of sinkers that I didn't get the other day when I was down there. And so we're getting down a little bit. So hopefully some better stuff will start showing up, but until the next time I get out there, you guys have a great Christmas, happy new year, and we'll see you next time. All right. Bye.